Hey yo, welcome everybody to a new series, a whole new complete series. You may be like, Game Raiders, what series are we starting up now? Well, we are starting, this is going to be the first season, I guess you could say, of a multiple Thorium playthroughs. Because a lot of people have been asking me to just do mod playthroughs where we just have one big mod and we focus on that mod. Because some people don't like the mod pack and that's understandable. It's a lot of mods that can get very overwhelming pretty quickly. So that's why we're here, and you may be like, Gamers, what mod are you doing? If you couldn't tell by that title, if you couldn't tell by me throwing a single shuriken, we are doing the Thorium Throwing Class, officially dubbed the Thorium Throwing Class. Well, I guess not officially until they remove throwing, aka when 1.3.6 comes out, but that's probably not going to come out till like next year, because then they say something about like possible eight months before the update comes out. I don't know. But yeah, uh, we are here. The episodes are going to be long, all right, because I was thinking about streaming this series originally, but then I was like, nah, let's just do, let's just do long episodes. So I'm aiming for around 30 minute episodes, 45 minute episodes, and they're just going to be really long, just plain and simple. I don't even know if there'll be cuts unless there's something I need to cut for. I don't know. We will see. So there might be awkward silence. You ready? Awkward silence right here. Oh, nice torches <laughs> okay but yeah we're here we're gonna we're gonna be playing through thorium story class now i am gonna play through every single class and once we finish thorium you know play through every thorium class uh i don't know if i'll do bard and healer maybe bard probably not healer because we're obviously doing a healer playthrough right now but yeah i'm gonna do thrower melee mage ranger summoner bard all that possibly healer we'll see when we get to it but like i said i'm doing a healer playthrough right now uh, at least the dark side of the healer playthrough with all the radiant damage stuff. But yeah, uh, we're here. And this is going to be the first of many. And after this, we'll probably do Thorium. Or not Thorium. We'll probably do uh, Calamity Spirit. I don't know. We'll see. Dude, I don't know if I got enough shurikens for these. We need to get our hands on our first new item. Because we're playing in the latest Thorium update that adds in a bunch of throwing items. A bunch. Because if you guys didn't know, I mentioned it earlier already. The uh, throwing class is being officially taken out of uh, Terraria when 1.3.6 comes out. So, what Thorium did is they pretty much dubbed the class as their own, and Team Mod Loader kept is uh, they had an agreement with Relo or uh, yeah with Relogic that they would keep the code to Thrower, the coding for Thrower in Team Mod Loader, and Thorium has taken it over as their own, and I'm hype. Okay, that doesn't count. That dude walked into my axe. I've still officially killed every enemy with a throwing weapon. No, it doesn't matter. Some people actually cared if I did stuff like that. If I killed something with a pickaxe on accident. They'd be like, Game Raiders, I thought you said this was a summoner playthrough. Why are you killing stuff with your pickaxe? Slash sword, 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 sword. Uh, and then they just, that's the last I hear. They get so mad they leave the whole entire playthrough. Just because I hit something with a sword, sword. So, dude, I can't. Short sword. Short sword, short sword, short sword, short sword. It's kind of low key tongue twister. But yeah, I'm mining a bunch of wood here. What was I talking about? Thro Thorium. Officially taking over the throwing class. And uh, coding is staying into mod loader, so a bunch of mods won't suffer from the class being taken out. And it's sad to see the class go from official Terraria, but you know, uh, they really never planned for it to be something big. Well, they had to plan for it to be something big if they added it originally, but they just never went through with it. It's all good. That's why we got mods. That's why throwing, I feel like throwing was always a modded class in my opinion. Because mods always tended to it. They always took care of Thorium. Uh, you know, not Thorium. They always took care of uh, the thrower. And the thrower was just abused. And I feel bad. We're going to keep my inventory uh, not organized so everyone gets mad at me. But yeah. So many items added in. I have the wiki up on the other page. The only problem is the wiki is not finished, obviously, because the update just came out the other day. I don't know when this video will go up. I'm assuming it'll go up on Easter Sunday because that's when I'm recording it. But yeah, the first item we can get our hand on, get our hands on multiple, is the cactus. Why am I wearing this like actual armor? Is the cactus needle, obviously found in the desert. Um, I have two shurikens. I don't know if I should use them on that enemy. I'm, I'm not gonna. But yeah, as you can see, I wanted to add a little bit new uh, world building lore 
to my um, to my characters, all right? Because you know how I got the orcs, uh, a little lore you guys don't know. I don't think I've officially said this lore out loud, but you know the seven original characters I played through in the uh, season one of Moditoria. You know when I first started doing Moditoria, those characters are considered as the seven chosen ones. You know they're the OG characters. They play a big part in the lore. There'll be a giant lore video eventually. You may be like, gamers, why do you do that nerdy lore shit? It's to keep me entertained in a way, you know what I'm saying? It's to keep things fresh in my head, because people always ask me, gamers, how do you play Terraria over and over and over without getting bored? Number one is mods. Shout out to mod developers. I love them so much. I appreciate what they do for the community, especially when this game, you know, is in a stage where it doesn't really get updates too often. But, like, you know, the role-playing stuff slash lore stuff... It keeps me entertained a lot. I like world building in anything. You want a good example of world building? Let's go with something like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has awesome world building. And it's cool as hell because there's so much stuff in like Game of Thrones that you haven't seen yet. But you know, that was a god tier. It's a bro right there. You guys just saw that. But yeah, uh, Lord of the Rings has awesome world building. You know what I mean? World building. It's like building up a world around you. You may never see it. But the fact that you know that it's a part of the series slash knows there makes it so cool. It makes it so cool. So we're going to make this right here. Cactus Needle Thrower Class. You see that? It's dubbed orange. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me point at it. Briefly sticks in the enemies, poisoning them. And you get 50 per 5. So not bad at all. Let's do that. We're kind of low on uh, shurikens. We do have grenades, which we just used. Let's go ahead. Let's test this out. Put it to the test. Hoop. Oh, that is sticking into him. Oh, so you can only stick one at a time and then the other one just pops out. I don't know if it really matters that much. Because, like, I don't think the poison would stack even if you could stick multiple. Maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe it's just not programmed that way. But as you can see, we have a, what is it called? Weapon out light. So you can see me holding my throwing weapons. I didn't mean to throw it at you. Oh, God. This is a, this is a massacre. These guys are nice people. Throw the, throw the nade at them. They're nice people, and I accidentally just threw cactus at them. You'd think they would have, you know, like some sort of special defense against cactus, but I guess not. I guess not. But yeah, the only other big content mod, if you can consider it really big, uh, is juiced. It's a decent size, but it's the juiced mod. I always have the juiced mod in here, so it'll be in every single one of these playthroughs, I'm assuming. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped to do this. I'm extremely hyped to just see everything through the eyes of Thorium, you know, and only have Thorium specifically. Thorium, believe it or not, used to not be in my mod pack. I mean, like, Game Raiders, how can you not have such a great mod in any in your mod pack? It wasn't out. <laughs> Thorium was not on Team Mod Loader when I first started playing Moditoria. You know what mod was out? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this scares you when I say this word. You ready? Tremor. But that's when Tremor was good. Or let's say decent. That's when Tremor was decent, and I actually enjoyed playing it before the massacre of the 1.3 update. Dude, the 1.2 update for Tremor came out. Back when I was doing the Summoner series, the first modded Terraria series I did, that update was hype as hell. It added so many cool things, and then, uh, you know, the update known as 1.3 came out. I'm pretty sure the 1.2 update for Tremor added in the Cog Lord, but the Cog Lord was broken. And I remember one time I beat him. Oh my god, I was so hyped when I beat him that one type, one time. My voice is cracking in a weird way. But yeah, hopefully we can get our hands on some more cactus because I'm trying to make some armor. We're playing as a new race. This is what I was talking about earlier. But then I got off on a tangent talking about world building and stuff. Uh, we're playing as a new race here. And this race is known as the horned ones. Not the horny ones, the horned ones. All right, let's get that straight first off. It's the horned ones, not the horny ones. Uh, there might be a character in here known as the horny ones. But this character specifically that we're playing as is a part of the new race. And he's just dubbed the horned one. He's the first horned one to show up. Uh, the horned ones, obviously, they look like the dudes from... Uh, or they, they pretty much are the dudes from Hollow Knight, obviously. There is another mask in here. It's called like the Cataclysm Mask. Let me see if I can find it. Cataclysm Mask. Garb? No. Okay, maybe it's just Clism. Okay, I don't know the name of the mask. Oh, because we're in accessories. Okay, there it is. 
cataclysmic hollow mask but yeah i was looking through don't attack me i was looking through the armor sets because i don't know if there's a new early game armor set like i said they're new update and the wiki isn't complete yet there's only a handful of things complete on the wiki is there something about to attack me <gasps> i was looking through cheat sheet and trying to figure out if there's a new armor set and it seems like the next armor set we can only get our hands on because i couldn't find anything is the um, set that you usually get when you do throwing through thorium and that is the sandstone armor set from uh oh my god get out of here is the sandstone set from the grand thunderbird and that's that's a, a fight that's low-key hard it's not the hardest boss fight but it does have a little difficulty so like i don't know <laughs> i don't know how off, how fast we'll be able to get our hands on that that's why we kind of need cactus armor right now but uh, we'll see oh we got a buckler <gasps> dude you walk into me and now you're gonna get pissed off at me because you walked into me i'm gonna throw an aid at you damn that boy ate that nade oh they dropped cactus though <laughs> i do need cactus for the armor set and they dropped cactus okay we got all the all those goodies let's go ahead let's uh let's patch this up for now same thing with right here let's patch this up so the horn ones I'm, i think i'm gonna have a theme where they all live underground uh because they are bugs right they're bugs in hollow knight i don't know i didn't i really like hollow knight but the thing is i only played like the first like 30 minutes of it but it's all good I, there's a lot of games on my backlog that, that seems to be a, a thing with a lot of gamers such people that just play video games is uh they all have a backlog in common and that backlog is filled with hundreds and hundreds of games that they need to play and it really be like that so there's not much i have to say about that 30 yeah well, there's no way we're making this whole entire armor set it's all good we'll, we'll just make a wooden set just to you know have whatever little defense we can why is everything not in vanity everything is in uh non-vanity but yeah as you see i do have a vanity set on them and this vanity set is just to symbolize how cool he looks because he looks really cool <laughs> there's a lot of sets i was trying to decide over and this is the one i came up with the other one was gonna be the uh monk the monk set right here because the monk set looked pretty cool but i don't know he's a thrower he's not really a monk i don't know I, what are what are throwers considered in terms of how they look i was thinking of like finesse a lot of finesse is what i was thinking with a thrower they finesse a lot i don't know <laughs> yeah as you can see we have this in our inventory this icy shard these are supposed to make icy caltrops i think where's it at there it is icy caltrop but you need two each so that's our next throwing weapon do these do anything specific? Attacks my Frostbird and the target briefly. I like that all of the throwing weapons so far seem like they have some sort of effect that they do. That's really nice. But yeah, let's head down here. Maybe I'll live in this tree. Maybe this living wood tree might be the tree for me. You know what I'm saying? I know I lived in a tree in a very, very OG Terraria series. It was uh, not even a modded series. Can you believe that? That's insane. You can live in here, Mr. Brett the Guide put him on my d tier in the tier list video if you guys haven't seen that i'll be honest some people are like gamers the guide is s tier it's like no what the hell does he do first off i'm not gay so i'm not gonna put him that high up well i can't really say that i'm not gay because like it's very sus that i made a whole tier list about male waifus for npcs so uh, <laughs> i mean personally i don't want to have any uh sexual contact contact is that the right word to be using i don't want to do anything sexual with any of the male npcs from terraria uh honestly don't want to do anything sexual with the female npcs from terraria because they're sprites in a video game and that's all they are they're not real uh so you can't blame me but you know i did the tier list for the culture okay <laughs> I did the I did the male tier list, tier list for the culture. I did the female tier list too for for also for the culture. But let's all agree on one thing that the dryad is definitely S tier in terms of uh, female NPCs in Terraria. Like straight up, I was trying to find artwork that I could put in the video over. I could not find anything that was not very sexually related, unless it was obviously a sprite. So um, take that how you will with the dryad NPC. It was very hard to find just like a normal picture. I typed in dryad art and it was just nothing but near hentai pictures being drawn. 
it's all good i did enjoy it but i was not able to show any of that on youtube the picture that i did include in the video though that tearless video i still censored it anyways because i just wanted to be safe <laughs> Her, her nipples aren't showing. I just censored the video anyway. I just censored the picture. Gotta be safe, you know? My inventory is extremely full right now. I don't know what to do. Bro, I hate this guy so much. Hate is a strong word, but it's perfect to use on this guy. These, mo these motherfuckers are just gonna keep on spawning and attacking me. Sucking the cactus. Can I put this here then? Look at that. Clearing one space at a time. He hits me for 18. I only have 82 health. What are we doing right now? Why are we underground? We're just trying to hide from the nighttime, honestly. And oh my god. That's a lot of boys down there. A lot of sandy boys down here. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get some platforms. Do I not have dirt? Why are they going so fast? I mean, these are called antlion charges, but like, how often have you seen an antlion charger charge? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> these dudes are like for real charging. How did he get up here? How did he get up here? Somebody tell me. I, I don't have the I don't have the gear for this. I don't have the gear for this. We're gonna literally have to throw 70. Where, where did that shuriken go? How'd I miss? <laughs> That's all good. I'm a I'm a self-proclaimed Terraria pro. I'm part of TSM Terraria. A group of well-known speedrunners. I don't know how long I've been recording now. I probably should have paid attention to that. It's all good. We'll <laughs> we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You know, if I'm feeling like it's been 30 minutes, then I'll just end the video. Only problem with uh, recording for 30 minutes and then rendering a 30 minute video, the render obviously is gonna take a little bit, and then also the uh, the upload is gonna take long as hell. The renders are actually really short for the quality I use or the the format I render in. At least the new format that I render in, because I rendered in a different format before. Yeah, the the renders are pretty short, surprisingly. It's more of the uh, what is it called? The upload that takes a very long time. I saw that heart crystal down there, so don't worry. But uh, yeah, I don't know why. It's usually the upload that was short in the old format that I used. But the old the old format that I rendered in kind of looked ugly. But it, I recorded Terraria most of the time with it, so like no one really ever noticed. Not saying Atari is an ugly looking game, but it's a pixelated looking game, so you can never really tell. Sprite looking game? What's, what's like the right term for that? Pixel pixel art? It's pixel arted game? I'm just gonna say pixelated. Pixelated. I have to like burp, but it's not coming out. Uh, we need to find, honestly, just any good loot in a golden treasure chest. That's our, that's our primary goal right now. Since we're kind of stuck underground until daytime. So let's let's just find something like I anything useful. If I'm gonna be stuck down here, let me find something. Okay, we do have a recall potion, so we can go back to the surface fairly easily. There's something right here. Is this, is this like gold? Or what is this? I don't know. I can't tell. Where's my rope at? Got a lot of rope, but I'm not using it. What's in here? I see cash. A lot of money. Oh look, the same enemy spawning again for the 80th time. Uh. Yeah, that's just silver. It's nothing. It's nothing really special. I think it's just silver. A lot of silver. Oh, coal, gold. Shit. I guess I was wrong about it being silver. It was gold, actually. Now there's some silver with that gold. But I'm trying to think. What other? What vanilla throwing sets are there? <laughs> I don't even remember. This is the ninja armor set. I know that one for sure. Is the Grand Thunderbird before Slime King? It is. So would I get the? Thunderbird set, the sandstone arm set, and then get the ninja armor set? Or should I just completely ignore any vanilla throwing items? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird to ignore vanilla throwing items. I guess they're considered ranged items now. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm kind of kind of torn on that. Do we ignore them? I mean, we already used a grenade in a shuriken. So it's kind of already too late. I, th I think we'll pick them up. It really depends on like what thorium has in between the vanilla stuff you know like if the if i can't find anything from thorium then i'll grab something from vanilla <gasps> it's daytime say loot loot any loot i don't see anything i'm about to just go up then i don't see any crazy loot all right let's go up 
Where the hell is the guy at? Oh, right, here I you moved in. Let's do this. Since we still don't exactly have a uh, spawn point. We're going to break this. We're going to do this. 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 I'm sorry, sapling. We're going to break that sapling. Do that. Do I have any dirt? No? Alright, we'll do this then. I'm going to take the dirt from right here. I'm going to do this. Just flatten it. Place some stone right there. Boom. Whole lot of chests. Let's move this chest to the left. That would be my throwing item chest. But until I actually, you know... Dude, there's a lot of slimes coming after me. Until I actually get some stuff organized, it's literally just going to be a chest full of stuff. Why is it... There's four... There's two on each side. They're not hard enemies, but... There's a lot of enemies that just come spawn all at once. I think I gotta... I gotta cut the video really quick and see, uh... How long I've been recording, because I want to be around the 30 minute mark for this episode. Oh my god, why is there so many dudes spawning, bro? Why did I hit record? I completely forgot to check how long I've been recording. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to make another jump cut. Look at this! Do I have spawn rates turned up or something? Just non-stop. Non-stop ice slimes are coming through. I mean, I'm fine with it. I need the icy, uh, or the caltrops, whatever the hell they're called. They are called icy caltrop. Another one spawning? Do I, like, for real, do I have spawn? No, it's at one. I thought it was just turned on by default or something. But uh, we need to calm down with the enemy spawn right, all right? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to sit here and, and chill. Get it? Like, I see stuff, chill. No, all right. We get 50 per, right? 50 per two? Okay. That's 200. Let's test it out. So these are something you can just throw on the ground, obviously, because they're caltrops. But you just toss it on the floor, and then enemies just walk into it. I'm assuming I can just pick it back up, too. No? Does anybody want to walk into this? <laughs> throw it at the penguin. You can only throw one at a time? No, the other one just disappeared. Okay. Interesting. Understandable. I get it. I get it. So we should probably uh, do something in terms of crafting. I don't know. What does it do here? <laughs> I don't know what to craft. I don't know about accessories. That's another big thing. Is I don't know what accessories we can get our hands on. In terms of uh, new thrower stuff. Come over. Let me just slide that into you. That sounds very sus. Uh, I'm going to just hit you with the icy cow trap. You like the sound effects? They, they all went somewhere where they can't get hit by the cow traps. There's just a lot of enemies spawning. I don't know if it's because I don't have sunflowers next to me or what. But there's just a lot of enemies spawning. Hey, come walk into that. Oh, it disappeared. Never mind. But yeah, I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think we're going to end this episode very soon. I'm going to cut the episode one more time and actually check how long I've been recording. Okay, so we have about like seven more minutes in this episode. Let me look up some stuff here. There's something called the Magneto Grip. Increases pickup range of throwing items on the ground. That's actually really cool. Pickup throwing items have 25% chance to duplicate, duplicate it and increase your throwing speed. This effect can only trigger once every second. Obviously, we don't have the bone grip. I don't even know what the hell the bone grip is, if I'm being honest. I haven't done a throwing playthrough in a good minute. Bone grip. So we need the padded grip. Can we get the padded grip right now? This sounds like something we can probably get. What, what the hell is the padded grip? Oh, is this something we buy? We probably buy it from the desert guy. That's what I'm assuming. Oh my god, why is this... So many enemies. This is fine, this is fine, because we're farming. We should be using just the... Oh, he walked into that. We should just be using the the cactus needle. Because, you know, we farm the icy cow trout with the cactus needles. We're, we're getting better materials, pretty much. We're using easier to get materials to get harder to get materials. Uh, notice how those guys did not drop anything. It's all good. But yeah, I'm looking at the wiki right now. There's something called the Olympic Torch. I'm assuming these are all throwing related. Yeah, these are all throwing related because it says throwing and everything underneath it is throwing related. <laughs> so, I'm assuming I'm in the, the right area. Bronze alloy. Yeah, we can't get that anytime soon. I'm not even going to read it. You guys can pause the video and read it. Something called a Dead Man's Patch. That looks like a drop. From like the pirate people. Canteen. That sounds like something you can get easily. Alright, I lied. Look, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be made out of chin. <gasps> what is that though? 
This item is just called a canteen. Non consumable throwing weapons will take 40% longer to exhaust you. I don't know what exhausting means. Is that something else we buy? Oh my god. <laughs> How many things do we buy? There's a mermaid's canteen, which is the one we just looked at. Uh, assassin potion. Okay. Your first throwing attack. Your first throwing attack went out of combat with crit for three times the damage. Nice. It's not bad. Look, I just typed in ass ass. That's a cool word. Assassin. <laughs> Technique hidden blade. So Thorium actually added in a bunch of technique type stuff, which is really cool. Um, as you can see, obviously, what I, I feel like my voice has been cracking this whole episode. Which one's the blank one? There's one that's a blank one. Is it this one? I'm assuming you just buy it then, because it says it added blank technique scroll. But yeah, cost two technique points allow you to dash in direction you're running, selling nearby enemies in the process. What is this? <laughs> Techniques. And they require technique points. I have no idea, but it sounds really cool. It sounds extremely cool. We can't even use any of these until hard mode. Oh, except for that one. That one we can actually get before hard mode. I'm assuming that the um, NPC... What's his name? The Desert Traveler? Whatever. That NPC probably sells most of this stuff, is what I'm assuming. I don't know. I know the tracker NPC from this mod has like a whole new quest system or some stuff. Tracker quest system. What else is there? That that looks like that's it. I don't know. I see just all technique stuff. Uh, there's benign balloon. Do you make a benign balloon? No, you do not make a benign balloon. Broken hero hilt. And then white dwarf fragment. Those are all drops. It seems like. Actually, are those all drops? I don't know. That means the blank technique scrolls and drop. But uh, moving on, the next weapon we can get is an iron tomahawk. Boom. Uh, after that is lead. There's also a lead one. Okay. Shinobi slicer is after that. I'm. A, I asked if these were in order, and I was told that they are indeed primarily in order. Shinobi slicer made out of slime or gel. Huh. Interesting. I guess that's the first one that's not in order. Enchanted knife. Which one looks like an enchanted knife? Oh, don't tell me the enchanted knife is what I think it is. I think the enchanted knife is something you get out of the either a chest or you get out of a rock. Let's look at it through cheat sheet. Enchanted knife. Oh my god, it is something you get through a rock. Don't tell me. There has to be another way to get it. There has to be. And we're going to be looking for an enchanted knife. I'm hoping it's something you can reuse then. It probably is. So there's demonite. It seems like there's a lot of tomahawks. Or my bad. Tomahawk? However the fuck you pronounce it. Meteorite cluster bomb. I'm assuming most of the stuff we can craft. Aha. There's a cluster bomb. Uh, there's a harpy's barrage. Arcane aim lace. The hell is that aim lace? Is this an aim lace? <laughs> Crimtain. I don't know what that is. Is that something we we buy then? Arcane Ain Lace. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Arcane. Yeah, nothing comes up for that one. Harpy's Barrage. I'm sorry if this is spoilers, but you know, I'm just trying to figure out together. We're figuring out together as I fill out the seven minutes of footage. What? There's something called a Whack Wrench. But first, let's look at Bolas. Oh, okay. Bolas. You cannot... Oh, whack wrench is also something you can't search up. Is that the wrench that the engineer uses? <laughs> that probably is. Uh, spiky caltrop. Boom. That is fairly easy to craft. Uh, Nyad shiv. That does not seem like something you can craft. But it's called Nyad shiv. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, after that. Is phase copper okay? Interesting. Uh, this is pre hard mode. I know you can get spirit drops pre hard mode. Uh, not did I say phase copper? I meant phase chopper, obsidian striker. This seems like something you can get early. Oh, it's a bowling ball. That's by far the coolest weapon. What the hell? But yes, I'm gonna end this first episode here. This is going to be the uh, length of all the episodes, hopefully around 30, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour if I'm feeling it. 
because you know obviously this is supposed to be a stream series but i didn't want to do another stream series i wanted high quality 30 minutes whatever this is good enough quality i hope but yeah i will see you guys in the next episode make sure to check my twitch out i do stream a lot on my twitch i might even stream whenever you see this like right after you see this episode i don't know but follow my twitch because i need my followers on there and i will see y'all in the next thorium thrower class episode new this is gonna be new in the title somewhere